Hi my friends, today we have to model this uh, hand wheel. Let's go straight to the uh, object. This is the drawing and uh, we have to remark something. This uh, recesses are uh, uh, 16 and they start from uh, this level which is 2 millimeters and uh, uh, the edge the edge here is at 30 degrees yes this is the difference between them we have to uh, take care with this aspect radius is 2 here and it can be measured only between recesses yes so we start with uh, the template the plane XY for the sketch some lines here to be the contour for the part when we think to revolving this contour and close yes uh, this is too high a little too high uh, you have to see that these are uh, collinear because I can move them together okay and now we have to place some constraints coincident for this line line with this point and this line with this point the first dimension is uh, 20 yes the height of this uh, object 20 20 and now we see how proportionally is my sketch 20 now it is but when I place now let's project the y axis this is to be center line and now we see the dimensions 50 here uh, 30 degrees 41 inside 45 is the diameter external diameter here R2 and here there is a cylinder of uh, 12 millimeters with 8 inside the thickness is 2 you remember this let's apply this is 2 millimeters the radius here is also 2 external 12 internal 8 oh it is very well proportioned this is uh, say 50 and this is uh, 
a41 and one dimension needed which is the dimension the angle between these two lines 30 degrees fully constrained okay then we can apply revolve and the part is almost finished okay I want to apply material steel uh, stainless steel and now we have this dimension two millimeters for the recessions the bottom of the recessions you see many things here yes in the picture two millimeters diameter of 52 and 16 with the radius of 4.75 millimeters good to apply um, minus 2 for the bottom plane of the recesses now is okay sketch F7 we look inside a circle with the radius of uh, 4.75 good on the same horizontal with the center point and the distance is you tell me 52 divided by 2 we don't invent dimensions we don't calculate them from the head we place expressions and everything is okay you have to listen to me since you look to this uh, uh, nice tutorials to have a good behavior in your professional life yes i'm a professor i teach you well i try now extrude cut not join all the way and that's all okay we don't need to see the plane anymore and uh, now we apply this circular pattern circular pattern of what of the recession we select from here or we select from here the same thing the feature recess what is the axis the axis is of this cylinder how many recesses are here 16 okay wow. it looks very nice and now the last thing we have to place is this keyway inside the part which is uh, uh, with the bottom on the face inside here yes since we don't see here a segment of circle then uh, this is at the same level the bottom of two features good let's apply this oh but I forgot dimensions 9 millimeters and 2 millimeters 9 from here not from other usually is from the center or from here 
uh, uh, it is choose nine from here because you can uh, measure very easily with a slide ruler you measure this very easy okay okay nine and two I look from the front I rotate from here to have the key way at the bottom and now I create a sketch the sketch is a rectangle the rectangle is this very easy is to place this point here oh but uh, uh, we don't place place here now because uh, tangency and uh, uh, symmetry symmetry are uh, two constraints so I uh, use only one constraint you see and the dimension is very well measured from this uh, point a quadrant of the circle nine millimeters and two 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 millimeters okay finish sketch a little uh, the turning of the view and extrude extrude of what extrude of this with join no with cut all the way through the part no 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 two you see two to this face yes you see how happens this uh, edge will disappear okay it disappeared f6 to seize the part and that's all for today bye bye